James, he does all our programming. Um, he, I'm going to now have a quick chat with him and explain what we've done to alter the design for your needs and then what he's going to do using the design that we went through in the offices. He's going to transfer that to the machine and then we're going to put the sample. The, the big machine? The big machine, yes. Right. The big noisy okay. machine. <laughs> okay, James. So what we've done is we've simplified the um, industrial version of this case. And we've removed so on this machine now you can start sort of programming the changes and yes. stuff and that's where it sort of, this is what does the actual... Yeah, this is a machine's work, interface, yeah. yeah. It's kind of a less glamorous version of what we're doing upstairs. Yeah. A lot more 2D. <laughs> so what Jamie's now doing is checking the corner radius that we've got on to make it look a bit smoother. And then <laughs> whilst James is doing that, if I can explain, we have a number of processes with the machine. As this is a three-axis machine, it only mills from a vertical position and the piece is in a solid uh, place, which means that generally machines will go through a minimum of three but to four rotations at a time, so there can be up to three or four programs per job. The first job we'll do is the main body of the job, all the islands that we showed where the cooling is, um, makes contact with the case, and that also includes the features. The second is where we finish the top and again add some more nice little features. And finally we add the rear and the front switch and then the unit will be... We can do a simulation of the job. Now this just shows us how the machine is actually going to act. So the first screen you'll see is a solid stock of material and it will show a simulation of the tool coming in. Right, so that's the solid block. So that's the so the drill going down and starting to yeah, make the, uh, so the footprint. So with the, the simulation, case. then you can then get an idea of what's going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. It shows you in realistic terms what's going to happen, and it's yeah. handy for mainly catch things like possible collisions of tools and things. Yeah. But really, it, it just gives you that extra confidence. So that's the actual program is right. starting point. That's that's yeah. what the, the unit will be made out of. Yeah. This is um, a standard stock piece for that size yeah. of material. Now the parts in, we can set the job off. So now we're going to begin from the first stage. So now you can see the fins that we just, yes. you know, that, that were there before. Yeah, which is quite important for yeah. this design. And that's the, the, the curves that we specified yeah. early on the design. Exactly. Okay. So now we're going to do the third stage, which is the... Oh, right, yeah. Uh, so now we're going to Yeah. 
like that. So that's absolutely perfect. I mean, you see some pieces, don't you? They'd be like a, a aluminium foil type back on them. It never no, quite that. fits to the to the yeah. porch, but that's absolutely yeah. spot on. This one's been made to measure. So yeah. Right. There's another little thing you may have seen on the job that it actually threaded a hole here. Now this little hole here we use as a retainer plate for the power supply cable. Just right. for that actual idea of security. Oh, good idea, yeah. And reliability, of course. Yeah. So now we're going to do the final stage on the shoe, which is in front, so we can actually mount the bottom. Right. So what it does for the calibration again? It does. Every it does. time you take something out, put it back in, it's going to recalibrate. Place the power switch, right? That's not the case. Before, yeah. I'm sorry, I actually threaded the power switch as well. Oh, right, yeah, I don't know if can see that, but it's, there's a sort of a thread in there. Yeah, so yeah, the so power it's not just a hole. No, yeah. it's screws straight in on this one. Excellent, that's really good. Straight from out in as well. Yeah. yeah. So now what will happen, you know, will go through its final stage of testing just to make sure it goes together once it's had a clean up. Yeah. And then it will go off to be anodized. Right. And upon final testing, it will be an anodized, so it's going to go into mass production. Right. So what's the next stage that we're going to look at now? Next stage we'll look at now is putting together the complete system. Right. And we'll do that going to our uh, production shop with our production system. So, right, okay. So you see the machine that make the, the block or edge block. So now you've got it back, it's a different colour. What's that? Okay. We've now anodized this in house. We've got um, anodized facilities in house we use it for samples uh, for turnaround time. So it's been anodized in the matte black finish. Yes, again, on the video, uh, on the video designs we did earlier. So now we're getting a real, really good yeah. idea of how the system's going to look. So, so when you say anodise, what does that actually mean? That's the, that gets the colour on it? It gets the colour on it, it actually gives the uh, material a finish, mm -hmm. um, it cleans out any imperfections. It, there's quite a few, a number of steps, one of them is actually which actually cleans out any imperfections and also gives it the finish at the moment. You see it's not got a very reflective finish, it's quite matte. Mm -hmm. And that's the finish we're looking for. Yeah. And it also puts the material in a state that it can accept to dye, um, which is how Come yeah. out of this colour. Um, as you probably know, you can't paint straight onto metal, you don't get the kind of yeah. finish we're looking for. Um, it actually makes the, the surface quite um, soft, almost like a, a diamond hard skin, uh, yeah. uh, sponge, almost, which can actually absorb colour yeah. and ink, which is what it's done here. Right. So, the next thing I was to take that over to the. Now it goes to production. Manufacturing, yeah, the production area. Okay, okay. now it's the production department. Mm -hmm. Jamie's actually going to put this uh, first system together for us. Right. Um, as he actually puts all the samples together, because yeah. he's a machine and he knows most about them. So, so you've got a motherboard, processors, RAM. Yeah, we've got all the items. That is the, the MSATA device, this very small one here. Right, that's tiny, isn't it? It is, yeah. and it's, it's very quick as well. And yeah. it's great because it, uh, it keeps the profile of the unit very yeah. small. Yeah. And that's actually a 40 gigabyte of storage, one, <laughs> I believe. So um, it's plenty for the application show yeah. to be running. And then we've got um, a stick of uh, memory as well, um, which is two gigabytes again, what we expect up earlier. And the motherboard um, is a i3 2100T. Right. Um, so Jamie's going to start putting that together. Yeah. You've probably noticed on Jamie's wrist as well, he's got a blue band with the yellow wire. That's actually our ESD control, which is to protect all the components from um, static yeah. um, shocks. So in these little spaces, there's actually been a little pocket drill for them, so they actually drop into a pocket. And this is just, again, to um, get the unit's tolerances mm -hmm. um, very close. I believe they're made out of, is it carbon fibre, these? These washers are actually made out of carbon right. fibre, so they can't be. Part carbon fibre. They can't actually be suppressed, so um, they're not there to be compressed or anything like that. Yeah. But it stops any metal contact coming to the PCB. Yeah, because of course, when you... Because of the nature of the design, you've got to have the CPU on the yeah. on the case, and there's no room for sort of. Oh, you can't have it loose or anything. Screwing like down the uh, four screws that actually hold the CPU uh, pressed to the the yeah. island, as she calls it. Now these have actually been cut to a certain height to actually put that pressure on the CPU um, to cause to increase the heat transfer. Yeah. 
this screwdriver we use is to get the little top settings just right so the screws are at the right pressures. Right, pressure so you're not over tightening it or uh, to the side. Yep. Now, different models of boards have different levels of support depending on the pressure that we need to put down on the CPU. Right, so that tool is calibrated for this board and yeah. this combination, right? Now, the unit has its base on, it's now ready for test. As you can see, it's looking a lot more like what we saw in the yeah. pictures earlier. Yeah, and we've got the feet on there yeah. as well. If we lift up, you can see the gold feet as well. Yeah. Excellent. So it's very close to what we had yeah. earlier. And now we take it through to our test department for a bear test.